it's completely destroying the property rights of the neighborhood. It's going to destroy the value. It's going to destroy the ambience. It's going to take away our sunlight. It's going to have traffic going in and out of here all the time. They're not going to... Who would buy an apartment in a building to which you cannot drive? To which you in cannot or out. Cannot drive. You can't get There's no it. room on Maybe the street. Maybe it fell off and that's why you There's no room on the street. There's barely room for the traffic that's already here. It's supposed to be going up right there. It's nuts. 1978, my home caught on fire. It was a three alarm fire. The flames were so high, we could see it from the Southwest Freeway. And even 28 years ago, the traffic and parking was so severe that the pumper truck could only make it part of the way down the street to our home. If there had been a need... This particular building is neither energy efficient, nor uh, appropriate to the neighborhood, nor in providing the services that we need around here. So wrong project, wrong place. You're allowed to park on both sides. Did you know that? No. Well, I'm parked on that side now. Now I'd like to see a line of cars parked on both sides and then see if the bus or anything else is going to come through here. This is not the place for a high rise. No. So we don't oppose development, but we oppose bad development. I think responsible developers don't locate projects with the disdain that, that these developers, the Buckheads, have for our community. And the dis disdain, I think, reflects poorly on the more responsible developers in our community. The Ashby High Rise is just simply the wrong project in the wrong location.